Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're doing a performance review of these, the Nike Infinity React Flying It version two. So let's get stuck in. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, tell me, did you bag a pair of these, the new version of the Infinity React? I'd like to know what you're thinking about the shoe and I will go down there once this video drops and check out what you've been um, saying about this shoe. Very, very interested to know. Right, so um, before we get into how I've been getting on with it and what I think about it, let's get some of the stats and features out of the way. Right, so from this part down, it's basically the same as the original. Uh, what they've done with this shoe, the major update is on the upper. They've added fly wire in here to help you with that lockdown because the big problem with the original was the heel slippage. They've added foam in the heel. They've gone away from the one piece uh, boot construction uh, of the upper. So you can now lock them down really well. That heel slippage is gone. Um, they've changed the uh, fly knit material on the upper. You've got like a more structured section here. Um, there's plenty of breathability in it. You've obviously got the guide rails, um, which are carried over from the original. So mild stability-ish with that sort of wider um, touch point on the ground. So yeah, it's, it's sort of mild stability-ish. Um, you've got the sort of heel that sticks out. I don't know if it's a beveled heel or not. I should really know, uh, but let me know in the comments. But anyway, the, you've got uh, the, the heel sticking out the back, which again sort of helps with that uh, heel to toe transition. So you get that nice feel as you go through them. Full length React foam. Uh, decent lacing, and yeah, that's probably about it, really. Uh, the shoe weighs 11, uh, let me have a look at those, 11.4 ounces, 140-odd uh, pound, 130 pound, depending where you get them, 9 mil drop, uh, and all that sort of stuff. Right, so, um, fit. It's true to size, I'm a UK 9.5, there's plenty of width in this shoe, I've had no problems with this shoe, and a big compliment to Nike. No heat spots, no issues, um, nothing from the arch either, um, because some people have complained of the high, slightly higher arch in this shoe, I've had no issues with that. Um, what has happened is you have the higher arch, it pushes your foot out a little bit. Um, I know some people have struggled with that, but I've not. Um, yeah, so fit wise, I would say, you know, actually it's a, it's a very good fit compared to probably even the first one. Uh, so if you're worried about that, I know some of the Nikes have been coming up narrow. You don't have to worry about that. The outsole's done a good job. It's been very wet here in the UK. It's stuck very well. Um, to roads and even down the toe pass, it's done a good job. So yeah, um, well done to Nike. The other pair, the original pair I had, really wore out here uh, and through here, but in fairness to them, it, the rubber does a good job um, versus the um, React foam, exposed React foam. Um, talking of the React foam, it definitely comes into its own. Uh, the more you've run in it, it, the first time you put them on actually feels slightly harder probably than you was expecting, but it really does come into its own. And I found um, the more I've run in it, the more sort of, uh, sort of I've been running it more from a midfoot to forefoot. I've just enjoyed it more running it a little bit quicker actually, even though this is, <laughs> this is meant to be for those sort of easier pace runs. I've just found it sort of sweet spot when I wanted to do a, like a, uh, a goal pace run. Uh, even though I say this is not really, and this is not a pacey shoe, okay? This is not a fast shoe by any means, but where I've wanted to go out and I just wanted to switch it up a little bit, I found that this is where it's come into its own a little bit more um, than I was expecting, actually. Uh, and that's the React foam for you. It's, it is a good compound. It's a, it's a very proficient um, compound. But like I say, this shoe, I think, really is designed for those sort of easy recovery days in your, in your rotation. Um, is it a good daily trainer? Probably not. I think it's too heavy. It's too expensive as a daily trainer. But as a, like a recovery, easy pace run shoe, it does a good job. But like for me, <laughs> I found myself running a bit quicker in it. So um, yeah, I just want to let you know because that's what the React Foam has done. Personally, and this is where you know it, it gets uh, the truth comes out. I still prefer them, uh, the Nimbus Lite too. Uh, I you know I'm lucky enough to have so many shoes. Um, we get obviously scent loads and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm I'm really lucky that I've got the Nimbus uh, Lite too and these, and I've just found myself time over time going for them instead of these. And I think that's more to do with the sort of feel of the shoe. Uh, that's a lighter, it's like nine ounces um, and change. And the flight foam combination with the gel, it just feels that little bit more sort of 
you just feel a little bit more awesome in it. And that, you know, makes a big difference for me and why I pick shoes um, if they make you feel awesome. So while this is not a bad shoe, it is heavy, it is expensive, it is limited in terms of what you can do with it. I would personally point you out to the um, Nimbus Lite 2 or even go for the Zoom X Invincible.